Today we're going to be taking a look at the Rodi. The Rodi is a mobile electric vehicle DC fast charging system by a company called Spark Charge. It's a modular system where the batteries can stack on top of each other and the actual charging unit, which you see here, sits on top. Now Spark Charge is a Massachusetts based startup that was recently featured on the entrepreneurial reality show Shark Tank where they received a million dollar investment from Sharks Mark Cuban and Lori Grenier. Now since then, they've been using that money to improve the roadie system. They've added some features to it. They're scaling up and they're also introducing new services, which we're gonna get into in a few minutes. But first, don't forget, click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content here on State of Charge. There's quite a few use cases for the roadie, but let's first take a look at the most obvious one, roadside charging for EV owners that miscalculated their available range and ran out of charge before reaching their destination. This happens to gasoline and diesel cars all the time as well, but all they need is for somebody to bring them a jerry can of fuel. Spark Charge is the jerry can for EVs. A stranded owner simply calls the local roadie service provider once they're safely off the road and the roadside assist vehicle arrives shortly after to give them the boost they need to make to their final destination or to the closest charging station. The modular system allows for easy transportation and setup, the roadie can charge at a rate of up to 20 kilowatts, and that's good enough to add between 10 and 12 miles of range to an EV, depending on how efficient the vehicle is, in only 15 minutes of charging. So let's take a look at the hardware of the roadie system. As you can see behind me, I have a three battery system. The charger module is stacked on top of the three batteries. I asked for a Chatamo version of the roadie system so I can demonstrate it using my Tesla Model 3. There is a CCS1 version available also. The roadie system will charge at up to 20 kilowatts, but in order to do so, you need to have at least two batteries stacked. If you use the charger with just one battery, it'll only charge at a rate of 10 kilowatts. Each one of those battery modules has a gross capacity of 3.7 kilowatt hour and a usable capacity of 3.5 kilowatt hour. So each battery module will add somewhere between 10 and 14 miles to an EV depending on how efficient the car is. The battery and charger modules stack on top of each other very easily and disassemble the same way. Spark Charge offers the roadie system in three different sizes a two battery system that has seven kilowatt hour of usable energy, a three battery system that provides 10.5 kilowatt hour, and a four battery system that has 14 kilowatt hour of usable energy. The roadie system, being modular, is actually light enough for service technicians to carry it around with them, but that doesn't mean that it's light. Each battery module weighs over 73 pounds and the charging unit that sits on top weighs 51 pounds. So a four battery system with the charger weighs 345 pounds. Now that's not something that you'd wanna be carrying around in your trunk just in case you ran out. But this product is not really aimed at consumers. Uh, it's too expensive for that anyway. A two battery system with the charger costs about $12,000. However, Spark Charge does have a very attractive lease and roadside service providers can lease a two battery system with the charger for only about $175 per month. And that makes it affordable enough where they can put this on their trucks and if they just use it a couple times a month, it'll pay for itself. So how do you know if roadie roadside assistance is available where you live? And that's difficult. There isn't a standardized map yet to show where this is going to be available. Now, Spark Truck does have hundreds of them 
in service around the country, but you still have to call your local roadside service provider and ask them if they have any type of electric vehicle charging service. If they don't, it wouldn't be a bad idea to direct them to the Spark Charge website. Maybe they don't even know something like this is available and will get it and have that service offered in the future. If you've been following this channel, you'll know that in addition to charging station reviews, one of the things I like to do are 70 mile an hour highway range tests with all of the electric vehicles available today. I get out on the New Jersey Turnpike and drive the vehicle in circles up and down the Turnpike until it won't go any further, or at least until I can safely get to a charging station. However, now that I've got this roadie on loan, it changes the dynamics a little bit. Now I can literally drive the car until it doesn't go any further and then have a car following me with the roadie system and we can plug it in and charge it right there roadside. Uh, so what I'm gonna be doing is arranging for a loan of a 2021 a standard range plus Tesla Model 3. We haven't done the 70 mile an hour highway range test on a standard range plus yet. We have done it on my own personal vehicle, uh, a 2021 Tesla Model 3, a dual motor, long range and we we're able to drive 310 miles uh, from 100% charge down below zero. I actually drove about five miles after the state of charge hit zero. That was all I was willing to push it because I didn't have one of these guys in a vehicle behind me. So now that I have this, we're going to do the standard range, standard range plus Model 3 and also I'm gonna get a hold of a brand new Tesla Model Y and do the range test on that also. Once I've done all the vehicles that I need to do with the Chatamo adapter, I'm gonna ask Spark Charge if they'll loan me one with the CCS uh, connector. So that way I can do the range tests on some other vehicles. Uh, this is just the beginning of the video series that I'm gonna be doing with Spark Charge. Hopefully uh, they'll continue to loan me these, I guess probably as long as I continue to pr produce videos and, get, and give them some exposure, they'll let me keep one. Uh, but I think it's really cool to have for the, for the range tests and, and other videos that we do here on State of Charge. I mentioned earlier that roadside assistance was only one use case for the roadie system. Now I admit it's the most obvious use case and probably what it was originally designed to do. I think when the founders of Spark Charge first set out, that was probably their main uh, thought was that, you know, hey, we need some kind of mobile EV charging system to help stranded motorists because it's going to happen. Uh, but now that they have the system and it's developed and it's in use around the country, they're coming up with some new and innovative uses for the system like charge up. Charge up is basically charging as a service. It's a mobile EV charging delivery service wherever you want and whenever you want. Now the interesting thing is this is actually already in use. Spark Charge has it in Dallas, San Francisco and LA and several more cities are going to be added soon. And the real crazy thing about it is the cost is only $25 a month. Quite honestly, I do not know how they can do it at $25 a month. I mean, that's less than what it cost me to charge my EV at home right now. So, you know, how do they pay somebody to come and, and, and pay for the energy? I'm gonna get this all figured out with Spark Charge. I'm gonna set up an interview soon. We're gonna to talk to them about it. I'm gonna learn more about Charge Up, but it's really intriguing as it is. So basically, for only $25 a month, you get them to come and charge your EV wherever and whenever you want them to. There's no fee per delivery. It's just a flat $25 per month. Um, it's, they do it at your home, they do it at your office, and even on the go. Uh, as I said, we're gonna learn more about it soon. This charge up service, it makes a lot of sense in my opinion, mostly because I know that there's a lot of people that can't currently charge at home. Charge up's a really interesting concept because I know that for a lot of people, home charging is difficult. If you live in an apartment, if you live in a condo, uh, even some people that live in private homes, their electrical service doesn't allow them to add a 240 volt, you know, 40 amp or 50 amp circuit without a complete service upgrade. And it could cost thousands of dollars. 
So many of my followers have reached out to me that live in apartments or, or, or condos. And, and like I said, homes that the, 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 the cost to upgrade is too expensive and ask me for direction. Hey, what do I do? I, you know, my condo association won't let us install a charging station in my garage. Even if we pay for it and install it and pay for the electric, it's against condo rules. So this is a solution for that. It's a pretty interesting concept. I'm just still a little amazed at how it can only be 25 bucks a month. I just, I don't get how the math works, but uh, we're gonna find out soon. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's an interesting concept. I like where the guys at Spark Charge are going. I like that they're coming up with new ideas that this isn't just a roadside assistance system, that they wanna do more with it and uh, hey, if it makes living with an electric car easier, if it opens up the world of EVs to more people, people that didn't have the opportunity to charge at home, that I'm all for it. So, okay, this is a wrap up on our first video with the Spark Charge Roadie system. There's gonna be more. And as I mentioned, you're gonna see me out on the highway with my range tests, pulling over when my battery is dead and having this puppy here charge us up at least enough to get to a DC fast charge station so I can fully charge the battery. Uh, and I usually do my DC fast charge recordings, 0% uh, to 100% after I do my range tests. So I'm just gonna use this guy to add another 10, 15 miles of range to get me to the DC fast charge station or the supercharger so I can then record a full zero to 100 recording. Uh, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. And if you like what we're doing here, please click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content here on State of Charge.